Alright, so this is what I've gotten done so far with my models, my Gazco, and uh, the Battle Wagon. Alright, so it's 1217 on the eastern coast um, in New Jersey. And uh, I forget what day it is. It's a uh, Sunday now because it's tomorrow. And so here's Gazco. <laughs> I painted his gob in like rainbow colors. And his face is done. His arm is done. All I have to do is do a wash on that, which I'm about to do. I did the base. I'm gonna probably have some pictures. And, um, the false pole is done. So now, let's put that over there. Uh, alright, I think that's good. And now, now, the battle wagon. I magnetized, which is nice. So, you could take this off. And what I did was I got plastic card, and I put it at the bottom and put a magnet there. So now, you could take that off. You could put this little top on, and it goes right on. And then that goes over there, like that. Sorry, it's zoomed out. There we go. And the gun right here just comes out, and you can still put the plate on, or you can get the grab a claw and put it over here. It's interchangeable. I like it over here though. I think it's cooler looking over there. So, over here. Oh, it's stuck together. Anyway, on the back gun with the commander guy, you could take him out. If you don't want a big shooter in the back, you get uh, the plate, the magnet on the bottom. This one doesn't stay on as well as the other ones. And you just stick it on there. It stays on just enough. Sorry. Just enough. If you don't want that, you can just take that off. Oops, sorry. You just... See? Magnetization. Like that. Now, the main gun. You just take off the top. If you want to change the main gun out. Take off the cannon. I put a magnet at the bottom. And a magnet right there. And if you want a zap gun, a magnet. I don't know why you would want a zap gun. I was reading about zap guns, they kind of suck. You just put it on there, and you can see. And you just put the top back on. And that's that. Let me just change it back. Because I always use the cannon, and I like to keep the cannon. So, that's really all the magnetization I did. This stays on well enough that I don't have to magnetize it. And the gunner's on the side, I don't have to magnetize. But yeah, so that's all the magnetization I did, so I'm happy with that. I'm real happy with that. I just got that done today. I've been working constantly all day. So now I just have to make sure all these parts stay with it. So tomorrow I'm going to get Army Painter Red. I forget what color red at my local hobby store and I'm gonna be painting this red and I'm gonna be priming it, it's gonna be very good I'm gonna actually start painting it tomorrow so guys, cool, I'm gonna work on a little bit more tonight and I'm probably gonna have some pictures yeah, so comment, rate, and subscribe